Alright, this is a story time about one crazy day in the summer with me and my homies. So, it was one crazy day in the summer. Me and my homies just cooling, you know, chilling at my crib, at my house. And we just basically just chilling. Then we started looking up random shit on our phones. And the things we were looking up, we really wanted. But they were not cheap at all. They were very expensive. And we didn't have any money because we were kids. And it was the summer, but we couldn't get some a job because we were too young. So, we started brainstorming like, man, how can we get some money to buy these things? One of my homies came up with a crazy idea. So we went with it. So we gathered our supplies, which was lighter fluid, a lighter, and matches. Went to the nearest gas station, which is about, mm, I'd say, 10 minutes away from my house. So we walked down there. We grabbed chips, soda, juice, candy, hella shit. And we asked the cashier, can we take this stuff for free since we don't have any money? Of course, she said no, but we asked anyways, just dumb kids. And so we like, man, fuck this nigga. He a bitch. He's not trying to let us get no shit for free. So then we went through with the plan. My homie started pouring lighter fluid around the store. I grabbed, put my lighter out. My other homie pulled his matches out. And we like, we'll blow this bitch up. He gets on his phone and starts to call the police. So we like, oh, fuck. So we run out that bitch. Grabbed, we kept all the candy and stuff. We run out that bitch. Now we're on our way to our house, to my house. We see police cars, fire trucks coming to the gas station. We're like, fuck. So we start hiding in bushes, but we're still trying to make our way to my house. So 15 minutes later, we make it to my house undetected. We didn't get caught, nothing like that. So once we make it to my house, we're like, man, it's hot out here in this side of town. We got to get to the other side of town. That so was like, all right, yep, yeah, let's do it. So we go to the Grant area, and you don't know what the Grant area is. It's the rich neighborhood, Northeast Portland. And we took the Max there. And the Max is our transit, uh, our public train. So once we get on the Max, you know, we get to our, we get off at our stop. And we walk to my stepmom's mom's house because she was white and she had a nice house. It was like a mini mansion. So we go there, say hi to everybody. And she told me that uh, my stepmom was across the street at the snow cone cart. And they owned the snow cone cart. So we can always get snow cones for free. So we walked up there, got snow cones for free, you know. So now we like, well, we came here to make money. So let's try to make some money because it's the rich neighborhood. So my friend was like, I got this paper in my bag. He's like, what paper? Pull it out. He's like, it's an advocate paper. We was like, all right, what are we going to do with it? So it was like a sports drink. Uh, that It was a sports drink. Advocate was a sports drink, and he had the fundraiser paper from his football season. It was no longer football season, but he still had the paper. So we act like we were fundraising for our football team, but we really weren't. We were just trying to keep the money. That didn't work out too well. We only got about $10 doing that. So we had to go to a plan B. So we started brainstorming. I was like, wait, we still got this candy. So let's sell the candy. They was like, all right, bet. Say no less. So, uh... So now we started selling candy. That's when we made about $50. And we put it all into a pot. And one of my homies took the whole pot, stole it, spent it on whatever he wanted. That's a different story for a different time. But yeah, that's kind of what he did with it. So now we're walking back to my stepmom's house because we're hungry. We just did all this walking and all this. We're hungry now. And we haven't ate all day. So we go in the refrigerator. It's a whole bunch of fucking white people shit, healthy shit. And we want some fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and cornbread type shit. So we call my stepmom to take us to KFC. She was like, yeah, hold up. I just got to call my sister to tell her to come cover the snow cone cart while I'm gone. And I'll take you guys. We are like, all right, bet. So I'll wait for her sister to get there. We just chilling, watching TV. Finally, her sister gets there. So she takes us to KFC. We end up doing the, not going to KFC. We ended up going to Popeye's anyways, but still good eat. So I wasn't tripping. So we ate good. Now it's about 5.30. So we're like, okay, well, we still have 30 minutes before the snow cone car closes because it closes at 6. So what are we going to do? So we're just walking around the neighborhood and we seen a basketball hoop. And when we seen a basketball hoop, we're like, oh, let's hoop. So, but they didn't have a basketball outside. So we're walking down the street, just exploring the neighborhood, and we seen somebody that had a basketball on their porch. So we went, picked that up, and then we went back to that hoop and we're playing basketball. So as we're leaving, we hear, hey, bring our ball back. So we all start sprinting. My two homies went one way, and I went my own separate way. And then a car pulls up on me. Did you see two kids with a basketball? I was like, oh, shit, that was my homies. But I didn't tell him that. I was like, nah, uh He was like, all right. So then I yelled both my homies' names. 
And I'm like, hey, this nigga after us. So now he chasing me too. I'm like, fuck. So I start sprinting. So then I turn down a couple streets and I see my homies running. Them niggas going hella fast. I'm like, hey, that nigga after us. He put up in a car on me. They was like, oh shit. They shifted gears and start going even faster. I ain't never seen them niggas running that fast. They gone, nigga. So I'm like, bet. So I keep going down streets trying to get away from this nigga so finally it's about five minutes past we think we clear so i kept going down streets i met up with this one one of my homies i was like oh cool you right here so him and the other homie end up splitting up so then we was like all right well i'm with the other homie so let's call the other one so end up calling we all end up meeting at my stepmom's mom's house so we get there we call my stepmom and we was like are you done at the snow cone car yet because it's six o'clock now she was like no I'm closing up you know it takes about 20 minutes i'm like yeah i know so i was like all right so we got like 20 minutes left what are we gonna do so i was like let's just go walk around the neighborhood again so we go back walk around the neighborhood finally we see this house that got three scooters on it we was like oh yeah this is our time so we all, it's three of us, and there's three scooters. So we walked around that block a couple times. Then we grabbed the scooters off the porch, and we started running across the uh, park to get to the parking lot of the park. That's where my stepmom was parked, putting this stuff in the trunk. So we like, fuck, let's go, let's go. So we run it, we run it. My homie stop, fold their scooters, put it under their arm, and now they run it. So I try the same thing. Like, that's a smart idea. My folder, my scooter is all rusty, dusty, and that shit cannot fucking fold, bruh. I was like, what the fuck? It can't fold. So I'm like, bet. So now I'm running with my scooter unfolded. They got their scooters folded. My shit swinging, hit me in the legs, hurt me and shit. So I'm like, man, that shit hurt, man. So finally we make it there. I put my scooter in the trunk. And then one of my other homies put his scooter in the trunk. But the other ones couldn't fit because the snow cone cart. So one of them had to hold it on his lap in the car. So my two homies was going to uh, their house. But they were spending the night at each other's house. So... And I was going home by myself. She took us all home. So she took them to their house and they took me home. So then uh, one of the homies left his scooter in the trunk, but the other one still had his because it was on his lap. So for like a week, he was contacting me. Well, we, we met up every day. He was asking me, bro, can you get the scooter? Can you get my scooter? Can you get my scooter from your stepmom every day? I'm like, yeah, bro, but the, I don't really see my stepmom like that. So I called her, but she didn't answer. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll get your scooter whenever I see her. He's like, all right. So after that, he stopped tripping. After a week goes by, he's not tripping no more. And then my scooter just got rusty. The wheels started getting stuck and stuff, so I threw mine away. And since I threw mine away, my other homie didn't have his. The other homie uh, gave his to his sister. So we all didn't have scooters no more. So we like, well, we have nothing to do. So let's go do it all over again. But we didn't do it all over again. So now we in the white people neighborhood and we see a house that got two bikes. We like bet, but it's three of us. So all of us run to the bikes, but only me and one of my other homies, only us made it. The other one didn't made it make it. So it was first come, first serve. So he like, man, I didn't get no bike. We was like, man, fuck you. We don't give a fuck about you, nigga. Fuck you. He's like, nigga, what? Nigga, no, I'm getting the bike. So we like, alright, so we keep walking. We go to this one house. It has a little baby bike. We was like, you want this? He's like, no, I don't want that shit. So I'm like, all right, bro. So we keep walking. Then there's another house that had two big bikes. He picks that up. Next thing you know, an old man with a bald head come outside. Hey, come back here. Bring my bike back. we like, oh, fuck, bro. So then we like, all right, we got to ditch the bikes. My other homie's like, no, I am not ditching my bike. we like, come on, bro. We got to go. He said, no, last time my scooter got left, I am not ditching it. So we're like, all right, bad. Say less. So we help him throw his bike over the fence. We all hopped the fence and we got loose and never got caught. And yeah, that's the end of that story time. Me and my other homie end up stealing two other bikes. So we end up all having bikes at the end of the summer. And yeah, that's all for that story time. Jace B. Jace B.